What's going on, family? It's your brother Lawrence here with another episode of A to D. I'm here with my sister Delorney. What up, sis? Hey, you guys. It's been a week. I miss you. <laughs> that was a high. I miss you. <laughs> uh, what's going on, family? Well, we're excited. As you know, we come together to talk about all the things that y'all are talking about, and we all are talking about, but not necessarily talking about well. But I think it's even deeper than that. As we say, that we like to talk about the, the difficult conversations in our community, given that our goal is to build community. Um, we look at topics that cover just the, the gamut, but specifically family, friendship, uh, romantic relationships, all those things are building blocks of community. And because that's our goal and because we want to bring people together, we want to focus. We focus specifically on those difficult conversations that we're not having well online and offline. And so we're excited about continuing uh, to have this conversation, excited and thankful for the feedback, thankful for the commentary, thankful for your shares. And so we're leading this off with thank you because you're our family. But speaking of family, given that family is such a fundamental uh, part of community, it kind of leads us into this series that we're starting off and that we're kicking off. And this is somewhat of a preview episode. Um, this is family business is the title. And the context of it is because, you know, even as we talked about relationships and we've talked about myths, many of those things tie into relationships and romantic relationship and friendship. Family has such a central impact and influence in shaping how we are as adults, but how we show up in relationships, how we show up in our friendships. Family is so central to that. And so with all that we're talking about, we cannot talk about the things that we're talking about without exploring the impact of family and those dynamics that are at play that ultimately shape us into the people that we are and ultimately shape our desires in terms of the type of family and things that we want for those who desire that. And so that's kind of the, the, the episode, that's some of the series. And so we're going to talk about some of the topics we're going to discuss, but I want to tee it off to my sister, kind of take the baton and give us, give us a little bit more to meet on the bones on this. So, yes. So our new series, you guys, is Family Business, and this is our, like, intro general episode, and what we're really discussing, you guys, is just what is family? Like, what is it, the dynamics in a most general sense of family? And just like Lawrence says, Lawrence said, every relationship you have, friendship, romantic relationship, how you view the world is based on your basic interaction with your family. Those were your friend, your first people. Your mama, your daddy, and them. Those were your first people. So generally speaking, I'm going to tell you that family to me is way more than my brother, sister, my mom, and daddy. I grew up with tons of cousins, okay? Cousins for days, okay? I also do treat close friends like family, but that is, but how I treat them like family is based on my actual family. Um, I am, I'm, even at my current age, I still be playing around with my cousins and them because I'm that close to family. It is very big in our family. You not a half cousin, second cousin, we don't know about that. Everybody is straight up family. It is big, it is messy, it is intense, too intense. Um, and therefore, the more you hang out with anybody, there's going to be some interesting dynamics. But yes, so family for me includes more than your basic mother, brother, sister. It includes cousins, aunties, and them. Yeah. I, I, th and I think this is pretty expansive. The expansiveness of family is real. And, you know, obviously, you know, I, I, I am, I'm somewhat biased in terms of my view of this, partly as part of the diaspora <laughs> um, and the Nigerian, you know, I think we, we have a similar dynamic in that there was no Mr. This and Mr. This. It was auntie, uncle, cousins, and everyone would ask, how, yo, well, is it on your mom's side or your dad's side? It's just like, Nah, I don't even know, man. They your family, right? So, so, so you know. So yeah, I, I think similar to you coming up in a context, I think many people can relate to. But this is just, not, but I think this is across the diaspora. I think it's even beyond the diaspora. There are many people I know who um, have grown up with that type of dynamic. Uh, but it's all to say that family is expansive. It's a wide term. Uh, it's just not blood related. Um, but even from that, you know, I, I think part of for for you know a good part of my 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 life and my work has been around this expansive term, even the work with family dinner. And, you know, we kind of arrived at this place that family has shared beliefs and values, shared shared experiences and shared expectations, right? Of how we would care for one another. And I think that's why, you know, the, uh, the highest view of relationship 
that's why people put the word family on it. Oh, yo, that's my sister, man. That's family, right? And he was talking about friends, right? Because they are, there's some sort of kinship, kindred spirit on the beliefs, values. You kind of align values-wise, but not in all cases, but values, beliefs-wise. You guys have shared something. You went to school together. You guys have gone through something together. You did something and then shared care, meaning I can't consider you family or the degree of family I could consider you is going to be based on how much we there's shared care, rather. Shared care, meaning shared expectations around care. I could depend on you. Stuff happens. I lose somebody. You're going to be at the funeral or you're going to be at the wedding, right? That, I think that's where family really, really comes in uh, in terms of that. So, uh, you know, I love how you kind of teed that up. And I, I think that's kind of where I see is that family is an expansive term. I think this is also timely, and I think, you know, I'll tee it off to you. Because family, the conceptions of family has changed a lot, right? So we, let's talk a little bit about, we'll talk about dynamics and things we'll talk about. But I think this is also important because I think how people define family is different, but even the, 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 the view of family, the importance, all that stuff, it, it, there's been a lot of, a lot of shift through the past many, and over, over the years. So, yeah, I want to even push back on some stuff. So if we're going to, let's not romanticize family. Because if anybody really be in their family business, y'all know these people is can be a mess. It's a wide range of people that you share blood and bond with. Mm -hmm. Wide range of people that you either share blood or bond with. Like you said, shared experience. We grew up in the same neighborhood. Yo daddy and my daddy, best friends. You my uncle, you my cousin, whatever the case is. Now, if we're going to keep it 100, everybody do not have the same expectations. We all have a few family members that ask for more than they show up to and offer. It is not a lot of reciprocity happening. Um, I do not know the number of people in my family who think they're the black sheep. If all of y'all are black sheep, y'all the sheep. Like, y'all the same color. Like, ain't nobody the outlier if all of you guys feel the same. Everybody feels the same. Like, all of you guys can't be saying you are black sheep. Stop it. You are not all the black sheep, okay? You guys all mad for some reason. I apologize. You guys are all disappointed. I apologize. But when we talk about family relationship, when we talk about family business, the goal of the series is to be very honest about the highs and the lows of it. Okay, shout out to have family is to have wealth. I had a former job where I was representing parents against child services cases and the number of people who didn't have nobody to pick up their child. I'm like, if you have someone pick up your child for just a week, we can keep him or her out of foster care. They had no one. So regardless of how difficult and complicated family can be, it is a luxury to have family. To have someone you can call, someone who may have the same blood type as you, someone who can potentially offer organs to you. Like, it is amazing to have them. Now, to whom much is given, much is expected. So, when we talk about them, I really want to, you know, be honest that a lot of times we do not have the same expectations. We do not care for each other in the same way, which is fine. We're humans. We all have different love languages. So that impacts how we show up in even our own sisters and brothers and cousins and uncles lives. Um, and sometimes we, regardless of how whole and amazing and intentional we are, disappoint people because it's just too many of them sometimes, honestly, for me. Uh, but I think when we talk about family, yes, who they are is important, but those relationships and how we sometimes show up or don't show up. Sometimes we do great things and sometimes we make mistakes. It's also part of the family business. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I, I think, you you know, the, the, the shift to talk about the complication, I think this is what we're going to explore, right? Because this is like, as I said, this is not just the kumbaya of family, right? That's great. With that said, part of the reason why uh, we, we talked about how much this shapes us is because you know, not every family is the way it, it, we envision and hope it can be, right? Our families aren't perfect. You have imperfect people. What the people come together to create will be imperfect. And there's no perfect family. I don't care what Huxtable dynamic that we all love and aspire to and, and, and you know, it, that wasn't most people, 
right? And I would say that wasn't the majority of people. I think that's not the majority, 99% of people. You could have a healthy family, but health and, and, and imper imperfection are not mutually exclusive. And I think part of what we show up to in our friendships when we leave the house, go to college, go to school, start jobs and build relationships, romantic or otherwise, is an outpouring of that, of that uh, incubation <laughs> space of that home regardless of who's there. And so I think one of the things that we're exploring is those those issues that affect us. And, and, and here's the point. Beyond, let's even just take the romantic relationship off the board. It affects how we show up in the world, right? If I did not get affirmation from my, from, from my father or my mother, right? I may go out and seek that in the world. That may be, or you know what? He was always so hard on me. So, you know, he never was impressed. So I became this performance oriented person where if I'm not performing well, I don't feel good about myself and my life, right? And so, you know, these type of the, 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 the mom dynamics, right? A lot of times we talk about daddy issues, but what about the mom issues, right? Sibling dynamics, right? Dynamics of favoritism, sometimes blood, sometimes step, child, this, how that affects us. The, the one that was quiet, oh, the one that wasn't seen as attractive, the one who, there's all these things that play out. It's not just in the Bible where they have favoritism. In real life, people have scars from feeling that or, or just perceiving that. And then, like, like I said, there's, there's other dynamics even beyond uh, just that and questions of, you know, in view of the dynamics and view of these challenges that we have, you know, like, you know, how do you think about, you know, family secrets? How many movies we watch and things we see where, Family secrets have broken families, right? Or people have different perspectives on family secrets and believe they're necessary in some cases or things you keep with. All of these things, I'm saying that we're going to be touching on all this, this big gumbo of things because family is a gumbo of things, right? And I think for better or for worse, I think sometimes for in, in a good way, I, I even when I sometimes when I think about friendship, a lot of people are like, oh, healthy family. I'm like, nah, man, like I fight with my, I fought with my siblings when I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have an expectation that in any relationship that's healthy or my friendships that we won't fight because family taught me that, even people I love, right? So um, I think this is important because I think many people are living out of family love, family trauma, uh, unresolved issues that they're working through now. If, you if you're fortunate, some people fortunate, some people fortunate doesn't apply to family in their mind, right? Because they're dealing with issues of family. Right, right now with siblings, right now with parents, and so I think this is going to be time. I think this is we're going, we're going, we're going to be, we're going to be touching some things that I think people are really that's going to resonate a lot with people because whether we like to or not, like to admit it or not, whether the family's not even there to your point, that the lack of family, how that impacts us, right? It's real. Family is real, regardless of how you cut it. Yeah, I think. And when we talk about that, we're also going to talk about like the the stars of the family. The star of the family, you guys, is a mother and father, right? But for them, none of us will be here. And it's really interesting in the black community how we treat fathers and mothers differently, whether they both, whether you came from a two family household or a single family household and you knew your father or you didn't know your father. And one of the first things you learn in family is not only love, but forgiveness, you know, uh, forgiving your sister, forgiving your brother, forgiving your cousin, forgiving your mother, forgiving your father. Um, those are things that is so impactful um, when we talk about families because these cornerstones that make people, you know, overall decent human beings, you have to practice those skills in family. Right? Like, no one, for some people, no one embarrasses you more than your family. You know, one time my father picked me up from a field trip. It was like a weekend sleepover field trip. And my name is Delorney, you guys. And he screamed out of his Toyota Jeep, Daluni. And I was like, oh, you're so embarrassing. Like, oh my God. So there's a lot of laughs and there's a lot of embarrassing moments. But those interactions are so defining. And I think a, what we're really going to spend a lot of time talking about is just forgiving those people because I see a lot of times we'll be like, oh, I'm cutting off this person, cutting off this person and their family. And when I tell you 
it is wealth to have family. You are wealthy to have family. And it is important that we create boundaries with those people, but cutting someone off that, no. You know, we, we got, they got to be thrown around. If it is obviously no one should be violent and dangerous, but there's a lot of times that we let our hurt feelings destroy all relationships with people who are trying to reach out. Um, and that is unfortunate. So as we talk about family business, you know, one of the key things we will be talking about is forgiveness. And we understand forgiveness is very different from mother, father, and siblings. Um, and we're going to address them differently because, you know, we let, we understand family business. Um, shout out to Kanye, old Kanye, um, with that beautiful song. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. We got, I think at the end of the day, um, you could find yourself somewhere in this based on our family experience, based on what we, what we experienced, whether, you know, you were adopted, um, and the longing for family, the longing for resolution or the, 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 the or maybe the, the numb desire around that. Um, whether you came from a family that was healthy and great, but you're struggling with the gap in terms of what you're trying to have in your own life. Um, whether there is, everything's great, but there's a dynamic between the sibling. I think at the end of the day, we all have some interaction with family. Family is a big thing. And whether or not you had the perfect picture, or even if you did have a different perfect picture, it didn't, did have a great, a healthy picture. When you look forward, we all, many people desire family. And even if you don't create a traditional family, and for example, if you're not, if you don't have family members who are living, if that your dynamic was a bit different, I think in many ways, people still, that what family represents, everyone wants. And um, we can't help but look. And, it, and, and, and they're always talk about this in terms of we talk counseling and talk about family of origin things. I think we've become somewhat of an escapist generation in, in many ways. We've all escaped. We don't want to deal with the hard things. And we think we could just kind of, you know, paint over it <laughs> when we start. Let's just paint over it. But those things come up. And so I think with our hope for us to be uh, have healthy families from healthy relationships, the reality is that we can't escape having a healthy view and dynamic with the family we ha we didn't choose. Having a healthy pursuit of the family, perhaps, that we can choose. And having a healthy perspective overall, right, of family, because I think family is essential. And having a healthy understanding of how much that affects us gives us a choice about what we want to carry forward and perhaps what are the things that we want to improve and, and, and redeem a bit in our experiences? And so I think this is something for everyone in here. We even talked about family business, <laughs> you know, um, you know, there's a lot of conversation. I think there's a series, shout out to the brothers who, um, they have a series of a uh, number of professional athletes. Um, you come together, brothers talking about things and the issue of money and family and uh, the dynamic of do you do business? Do you work with? That's real. And so I think this will be a really, this, there's something for everyone in this conversation. And um, I'm excited about getting started. So you guys, you got to subscribe below. And then you get to hear about all these episodes in these series that are soon to come. Indeed. And also I think there's, Anything some, else? there's something about the notification bell. I think, I think you got to subscribe and notifications. Make sure you click the notification bell. So you can get so you can get some notifications when we drop this stuff, but that we 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 we're, we're getting accustomed to all of this stuff, <laughs> um, notification or otherwise, or if you're listening to us, um, definitely make sure that you are subscribed and then you're following so that uh, when the next episode drops, you hear about it, so you can hear from us. Yeah. Bye, guys. Right, take care, y'all. Bye, bye. Peace.